Hey guys, Caleb Thornton here back with another video. And today we're gonna be installing a paracord on the Burst Pro from Rocat. If you guys are maybe thinking about installing one or you just wanna know the process of it, you might find this video helpful for you. And if you guys do wanna see an actual review on the Rocat Burst Pro, I do have one and I'll have it linked in the description down below. My first copy did have an issue with the clicks, but I got a new one sent out to me, um, or as a return, not sent to me for free. I did pay for the first one, but I got a, a new one sent to me because my first one had some issues and so far it feels really nice. So I'm gonna put a paracord on this one because I really do love this mouse for a claw grip. But that's the way, let's actually hop into paracording it and it'll get a closer up shot for you guys to see. Alrighty guys, we're gonna start by how we always do is getting these feet off the bottom. And one of you guys did recommend to me using a hair dryer, so I'm gonna try that today. I did do it on one other mouse and it worked really well. Basically the point of it is it's just to heat up the adhesive so it takes off well and you can actually reuse the skates if you want, but I have like three pairs of replacement skates for this, so I'm not gonna be reusing them, but just for the fact of getting all the adhesive up without leaving it behind, I'm still gonna use the hair dryer, and it does work quite well if you guys wanna do it. Basically all you do is you just put it on there for like 10 to 15 seconds, um, heating it up obviously, and then you can kinda get under one of the edges and pop it up and it will keep all the adhesive on there and also not leave it behind so you don't have to end up cleaning up a mess later. So I'll go ahead and pop these off first to get started here. So as you guys can see, I did get one of the feet off and there is like absolutely basically no residue left behind, which is very nice for me later. Um, if you wanna do it a little bit more safer, you could probably get a little bit hotter than I did and then also take it off a little bit more careful. But since I'm not reusing them, I don't really care. Um, but now I'm gonna pop this other one off and then we'll get those screws out and open the shell up. All right guys, so now that we got those feet off there, we do have four screws on it, two under that front foot right there, and then two under that back one right there. So we'll pop these out, and if you do have a magnetic screwdriver, it does make it a little bit easier. If not, obviously you can still do it, but let's go ahead and get these out, and then we'll pop that shell open. All right, we got all the screws out now. Now we're gonna try to pop this top shell off, and obviously you always just wanna be careful because you never know what might be connecting the top to the bottom shell. And here we do have a wire running from the top to bottom. So I wanna make sure we disconnect this right here before we pull it apart, because obviously these wires will not come apart easily. Alrighty guys, so you can see right here, this is where we disconnected it from. That's where that top shell was plugging into. Um, so once you wiggle that out, it just make sure you kind of remember the orientation of it and you'll be able to plug it right back in later. But now that we have this top shell off, we can just set it off to the side. And here we can see where our wire is routing in right here with the 3D um, or the stress relief that they already have in here. So all you wanna do is just pop this out. It's easy as just pulling it right out. And then your wire, just pull it out of the track it's in. And then right here, we'll wanna wiggle this out as well. Okay, I now pop that out of that where it plugs into the PCB there. Um, they do have like little clips that kind of hold them in place. If you want to get a little flathead and kind of pull them out to pop it out, it makes it a little bit easier, but sometimes you can just wiggle them right out. You just obviously want to be careful with it. All right, now we're going to grab our other um, actual paracord we're going to be putting in here and then we'll start installing that. This is the paracord we're going to be using today and it is from Lethal Gaming Gear as usual. If you guys want to check them out, I'll have it linked down in the description below. Really high quality paracords and I'll do a before and after at the end of this right here so you guys can see the difference between the stock cable versus the actual paracord. All right, so you guys can see that right here. I just seated that stress relief back in and since they 3D print them at the, um, before they even send them out to you, you can see how flawless that looks. Fits perfectly in there. Um, very easy to install. It's literally as simple as just pushing it in. And now we just wanna take these loose wires on top and try our best to route them back down and around and plug it right back into where the old one was. So you guys can see that we now have it plugged back in there. Um, the hardest part with these, I would say, is just these like loose wires. They really wanna pop up always when you're putting the mouse. So just make sure when you're putting your top shell back on that it doesn't get in the way as well, not on top of your switches or anything so that you have issues afterwards. But we'll go ahead and pop the top shell back on. Just again, make sure that you plug in this top shell part into the PCB again, otherwise you won't have it working properly. Um, so once that's plugged in, we just be able to put the top shell back on, then we'll get those screws back in on the bottom. Alrighty guys, we got the screws all tightened back down now and the clicks are actually working. I had a ton of issues with that. For some reason, it's not actually that difficult. I just made it difficult on myself somehow. 
Um, but if you get those wires out of the way in the first place, when you're putting that shell back on, you should have no issues. And then just make sure you have it tightened down well so you get that tactility back in your clicks. Um, but all is good now. Um, so that's basically the end of the installation. If you chose to reuse the same skates that are on it, obviously you can put those back on now. Um, for me, I'm gonna use the other pair that's in the box already with it and put those on here. And then I'll go ahead and give you guys a before and after now though of the stock cable versus the paracord.